it's uh, been pretty unreal. We didn't really expect any kind of attention like this at all. Um, we certainly never had anything like this in our life before. Um, you know, it got to the point where we had to turn off the phones and Facebook and Twitter and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, we're, uh, we're pleased to come back to the BBC and sort of bookend this with you. Uh, yes, we, uh, of course, we didn't get a chance to properly meet your family last time. It was under slightly different circumstances. So perhaps you can introduce your uh, lovely wife and children now for us. This is my wife, Chung Ah Kim. Hi. This is my son, uh, James Yusuf. His Korean name is Yusuf. And this is my daughter, Marion Yina. Well, it's very Kelly. nice to meet you, you properly and, and, and be able to talk to you rather than just uh, see you running around in the background. Chung Ha, how's it been for you uh, these past few days? <laughs> You're a little bit stressful, but we are trying to handle it. <laughs> we are fine. Getting better, better. The reality is, of course, is that at least for sort of 24, 48 hours, you were the most famous family in the world. Yeah, we, we just we didn't anticipate really anything like this at all. We've got all kinds of, sort of commentary and feedback and stuff like that. I had some woman write to me and ask me about was I a psychic? Did I see special numbers in the sky and stuff like that? I mean, we got you know, we just got this massive wave of, of email and solicitation and stuff like that. Um, you know, and, and we um, to the people in the media and stuff like that who we didn't respond to. We apologize if it was sort of, if it seemed like stonewalling. We just didn't know how to respond. We didn't really know. We never had anything like this before. Uh, and, and when you watched it back, which I'm sure you did straight afterwards, could you appreciate just what a sort of perfect piece of physical comedy it was, unwittingly? Yeah, yeah no, we, we did. We did. And, and we, we've watched it multiple times, too. And, and our families have watched it as well. And, and everybody we know seems to think it's pretty hysterical. Yeah, so we, we understand why people find it enjoyable and it was sort of catching a regular family off guard and stuff. So yes, it was, it was it's funny, we, we understand that. Uh, and, and of course, Chung Ha had, had, had a major role in making it so funny, flying about the room, trying to retrieve Marion and James. Did you find it funny when you watched it back? Uh, yeah, we just, we just laughed. We, we laughed a lot, but still, <laughs> I, we was, we were worried a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, we were we were worried actually that the the BBC would um, never call us again. Actually, that was actually our first response or sort of mortification that uh, we had just sort of completely blown our relationship with you. Well, here we are again. Anyway, uh, can you explain uh, exactly how it happened? Clearly, the the door wasn't locked, and but I'm particularly interested in what what happened uh, when Chung Ha realized that the children had broken in. What were you doing at the time? Do you want to talk? Uh, I was recording his right. interview because right. most of the time when he is in live news, I mo I'm monitoring his interview most on the TV. Yeah, on the TV, TV and I learned. Yeah. Right. So, so you so you were next door watching it, and then you must have got right. the shock of your life when you saw Marion walk in. So I went. I couldn't think any of anything at the time. So it's a kind of blackout. Yeah. Right? Probably, yeah. yeah kind so of frantic. <laughs> So, uh, I, presumably, I, though, you, were, you saw this on the TV and you uh, and realized it was live, and Marion had gone in and then saw that James had managed to get in too. Unfortunately, so it, we, it has a little bit delay so when you see the oh, uh, yeah. Bob interview on the, in the Skype. So I cannot watch, I cannot see him immediately. So, I before I found her, so. I couldn't see her on the TV, anything. Yeah, there, I think there's like a 20 second delay between when I actually do with you guys yeah. and when it shows up on the TV outside in the living room. And so my wife didn't actually realize that the children were in here until she saw it on the television 20 seconds after it had started. And I think that's why, right? That's why you sort of yeah. were flying down the hallway because, because by then she, right. the door is open. So. Right. So it was, yeah, we just, you know, she was videotaping the, the interview so we could have a clip of it. And the kids sort of escaped and I had foolishly not lock the door. It's really all my fault for not locking the door. <laughs> what did you make of the assumption uh, from many people who saw it that Chung Ha was uh, the, the nanny rather than Marion and James's mom? Yes, I am Bob's wife, not his nanny. <laughs> well, but the uh, uh, how can I say the but people think that I I I how can I say <laughs> we do not. Believe that I used used too much force to fool the children out of the room, 
I did the best I could in an it's a emergency to save the interview, but I am apologize to Marion <laughs> afterwards. So <laughs> I'm sorry, everything is not normal with the kids, even right now. Sorry. No, we understand. It, it's late in South Korea, and they're probably very tired. Bob, were you stung by the the suggestion that? Uh, Chung Ha was was uh, was the nanny and not your wife. Uh, that, that assumption that you know many people made. Yeah, we were pretty uncomfortable with it. Um, it's just that I I I didn't we did not argue about the, any of those. Uh, and also, so we are just uh, I hope people just enjoy it, not well, argue over the this this thing because we are I'm not nanny. That's the truth. So <laughs> so. I hope they stop doing the arguing. Uh, Bob, you managed to keep a very straight face through it. Or what was going through your mind when you realized that uh, an intruder had got in? Yeah, I could actually. A lot of people, I think, didn't know this, but the Skype has, you know, Skype has a picture in picture. So I was actually able to see as soon as Yana walked in the door. Um, I was actually cued to it, and so I was just hoping that my wife would eventually see it and maybe find some way to sort of run them out of the room. Um, and um, I tried to sort of, if you notice in the video, I tried to sort of to remove my daughter behind the chair. It's because we keep books and toys for the children in this room. This is the this is my home office. And I was hoping that maybe my daughter might sit down and read a book or something, even for 30 seconds until we could just cut the interview. Right? But um, once my son came in in the little roller, <laughs> then it was sort of, then there was nothing I could do. I was just hoping you guys might cut it on your end, and I was just sort of <laughs> maintaining a straight face, hoping to get through it. It was... Well, yeah, no, and, I, and I suppose I have to apologize because I have a role in that because I could have cut it short. But then if I had cut it short, then I guess people wouldn't have had the, the full enjoyment of what happened yeah. afterwards. Uh, it's, it's OK. I mean, you know, it's, we managed to get through the interview. I mean, at least two of the questions got answered, I suppose. And more people managed to see the interview than would have otherwise. So. Uh, one question, Bob, I've got to ask you, because, again, this has been uh, the, uh, much of the speculation uh, online. Were you wearing pyjamas at the time? Some people have said the reason you didn't get up at all was because either you were in your pyjamas or perhaps you didn't even have any trousers on as it was already sort yeah. of middle of the evening. Pants. Um, yes, I was wearing pants. <laughs> Actually, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that day, it's my, uh, my, my daughter's, our daughter's birthday party at the kindergarten. He, he, we are wearing a normal clothes. Yeah, we're wearing normal clothes. Yeah, so, <laughs> that argument, yeah. so. And it wasn't staged either. Yeah. I guess I was wearing pants and no, it was not staged. People started asking us if it was fake so we get this attention or something. No, it wasn't. We have a photo of that in the, yeah. the kindergarten. Right. No, it's funny, it, it, and it clearly wasn't staged, although it, it, the, the timing was absolutely perfect. There was one yeah. great moment for me, which was when you were still looking at the camera, but you just closed your eyes in that sort of moment of despair that every parent knows, which is make this stop, please. Make them go yeah. away. Yeah, it was it was it was weird. I mean, you know, I don't want my children to think that they can't come into the room. I think if you sort of look at the clip, you know, my daughter, she walks in doing her little dance, which I think suggests that she was sort of comfortable coming to see us. I don't want them not to come into my home office. That's what the space is. But on the other hand, I mean, I can't get much done if they're always coming in and out. And so it's kind of a it's a it's a tension. It's one of these sort of work life issues which people brought up on the Internet. And um, but I don't like the idea that my children feel that they can't come in here. Right. That's why I don't normally I don't lock the door. That's why my daughter just traipsed right in. I mean, we just we're just not like that. We want them to feel that their parents are accessible. No, and she certainly was very, very comfortable. That uh, that strut as she walked in is uh, it has given, yeah. <laughs> given lots of people a lot of happiness. Um, are things getting back to, to normal now? I mean, when, you, when you're back at work or back with your friends, uh, <laughs> how are things going these days? Yeah, I, I went to work today. Um, that was nice. Um, my, I don't turn off my phone quite as much as I used to. There was one nice suggestion uh, sent to me on uh, social media, which is that you should buy Chung Ha a spa day for everything she did in that video. Yeah, that's certainly true. My wife deserves a medal for, uh, for, for taking care of us and taking care of our family. That's absolutely true. I should do that. Thank you. Good suggestion. <laughs>